So, who would have thought that actually, that maybe, that probably, the best part of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2023 is the zombies mode? And this is coming from someone who isn't really a zombies player. Maybe that's why I think it's so good. And also from someone who thinks that the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 3 2023 is actually pretty good. I think that the multiplayer of Modern Warfare 3 2023 will appeal to a majority of the Call of Duty community because it's fast movement, you know, with sliding and bunny hopping, and yet they brought back the Modern Warfare 2 maps from the OG game, which means that there's, there's classic maps to play on, giving you a really good Call of Duty multiplayer experience. So that's that's pretty good, and yet I've been very, very impressed with the Zombies experience. Now, if you haven't tried it already, Zombies in Modern Warfare 3 2023 is an ad an adaptation of the DMZ game mode from Modern Warfare 2. And if you're not sure what that is, basically what it is, you've got a really big map. Like imagine a, uh, a Warzone map, or if you're into PUBG, the PUBG map of Erangel, or if you're into Apex Legends, you know, a, a big version of one of their maps. You've got this big map, and onto that map you spawn in, you, well, you fly in on a helicopter. Um, and it's PvE only. So although you're on it with the, your squad or playing solo, and this is very playable solo, um, there's other squads and other solos sort of on the map doing their thing, but you can't shoot each other. You no know, friendly fire is most definitely off. So you know you, there, there's none of that malarkey that we had from DNC. And the idea is that you get on the map, um, and then you could do various missions or tasks that you can either choose to do before you go into. The, the map or you can do stuff on the hoof as you're going around you say oh actually there's a high value target over there there's a zombie I've got to go and kill I'll go and do that or there's an area I've got to clear from um, zombie cysts over there or there's a stronghold with a NPC mercenaries over there I'm going to go and do that and as you're doing it you, you you can get better weapons you can pack a bunch of weapon you can get better kit you can get better backpacks you can get more money all this sort of stuff and then and this is the critical critical thing you have to extract safely so you have to go to an extraction zone a helicopter flies in while all these zombies are attacking and then then you then you fly out and the missions can last i think about up to about 45 minutes but you can extract early you don't have to stay that long if you die when you're in the map you lose all of the stuff that you had with you so it's, uh, I guess you could say it's, it's an extraction, looter, zombie shooter. But what's special about it, I think, is they've made some really clever decisions with this to make it fun to play. Um, the map is based around um, uh, an easy level being around the outside. So if you're a solo player or if you're new to zombies, you can just stay around the outside of the map and things are fairly easy to survive. But when you want the higher rewards and you want to earn more money, you move into sort of the second tier where things get much harder so you have to have a better weapon you've got to be more organized you've got to have better perks and then you've got the center of the map where things get really really difficult uh, as well so the more experienced zombie players they can do that sort of stuff also you are following a story so you can do these missions that, that move the story along so you're following that through but also they've allowed you to take things out of the map which can fast track you when you get back into the map. So what, what I mean is that if you want to survive in the level two version of the map, so further inland, if you like, you need to have what's called a pack a punch to weapon. So you need to have a weapon that's more powerful. Um, and to start off with, you have to spawn in, you, you helicopter into the, the map, uh, you, you find a weapon or you take a weapon in, you get enough money to go to the pack a punch machine, you pack a punch it, and then you can go into level two. However, you can find these crystals or the blueprints to make crystals that allow you to pack a punch your gun immediately as you get into the map. So you can store these up and when you want to do like a level two or a level three run where you're going right into the middle of the map, you can store this stuff up and then you can use it and then go straight in without having that early map grind. So that's, it's, it's really cool. Um, it looks beautiful. Um, you've got all this choice about where you can go. The fact that there's no PvP is brilliant because I would have really enjoyed DMZ if there wasn't PvP because the problem as a solo player is if three players or even two players come up on you, that's it, you're dead. But with this, there's none of that. In fact, you can just join other players as well in their squads and you can help them. If they've gone down, they can request help and you can go and revive them. The movement is good. Um, the extraction mechanism isn't too difficult either. Even as a solo player, when you're being swamped by hundreds of zombies, you can still get out 
um, and overall it's just a really cool game mode. You can level up the weapons that, which you can then use in the multiplayer um, and I tell you what I've been I was approaching level 55 so I got to about level 50 um, and I kind of wait until I get to level 55 before I do like my multiplayer reviews and my overall review of, a, of Call of Duty because I feel that's enough time you know I've played the campaign I've played a lot of the multiplayer I can give people a fairly reasoned egg argument about whether this is a good is a good Call of Duty or not you know why I like it and why you might or might not like it but a fair chunk of that I've spent playing zombies as well because it's just fun you don't have the pressure of multiplayer you know we're playing competitive you know domination and it all gets a bit sweaty and you've got to be concentrating all the time at least around the edges of the map it's very forgiving in zombies and it's quite relaxing and you can jump in you can farm zombies you can do the missions that you want to you know you're not forced to do specific things and uh, and you can enjoy enjoy yourself now all isn't bed and roses there are some problems it's quite buggy at the moment some of the missions don't track there's a water glitch that looks terrible as well um, and it remains to be seen how far you can go as a solo player I'm still working through the sort of the first chapter of missions and I know the ones that involve having to kill a lot of the NPC mercenaries can be very difficult as a solo player because the NPCs although they're a bit dumb their guns are very powerful and they're very good at destroying your armor and then killing you very very quickly so you need to make sure you've got a self-revive and plenty of armor plates so I'm worried that as we go into the second tier of missions that there's going to be lots of things where you have to be in a squad in order to be able, in order to be able to progress the, the um, story. So hopefully that won't happen and or they'll change it so that it's more balanced for solo. Um, I would also like to see a solo mode where you can pause the game. You know, I won't lie, if a game lasts 45 minutes um, or even the fact that in order to extract it's going to take you sort of between five and ten minutes to extract because you need to get to somewhere on the map where there's an extraction point you've got to wait for the helicopter to come in and then you've got to kill a load of zombies and get in the helicopter what that means is if you have another commitment the sun suddenly arises so for example you've got to answer the door <laughs> or life gets in the way as it does then you know that character uh, you know is dead and you're going to lose any of the stuff that you had on it so that is that is bad so i don't see why if you're playing solo that, you know if they could have a solo version that you could you should just be able to pause it because it doesn't affect um if, if it's my own instance on on a server that i'm playing it maybe on my local um xbox or playstation or or pc then it's not affecting anybody else so i should be able to pause it so you probably tell that i'm pretty enthusiastic about this <laughs> and i really am so if you are thinking about uh, modern warfare 2023 uh, modern warfare 3 2023 this year and the main reasons you buy Call of Duty are for the multiplayer and the zombies. I think you're, you're going to be very pleased indeed because it is a, a fun zombies experience. I don't know how much of a challenge it will be for very experienced players. I do know that lots of streamers and content creators te seem to be enjoying it and making quite a lot of zombies content, which is always a good sign. Um, but I am looking forward to playing a lot more of the zombies where I can't really say the same about the multiplayer I've played the multiplayer. It's great. It's solid cod multiplayer uh, It is what it is and I've played an awful lot of that, you know over the years um, and Yeah, that's great and I'm you know, I'm not gonna you're not gonna diss it too much or anything like that But multiplayer zom uh, sorry, but with zombies I'm thinking oh actually if, I, if I've got half an hour now I wouldn't mind jumping on and doing a quick mission in, in the zombies and, and selecting one of the missions to do and maybe doing a little bit of it and then extracting. It really is that good. Anyway, so COD Zombies in Modern Warfare, 20, Modern Warfare 3 2023 is really good. Big thumbs up from me. What do you think though? Put your questions and comments down below and of course I'll see you again soon.